Ginger Jester. Number 4, Confessions. Subsea is cruising on the ocean. A small island appears on the horizon. What a peculiar, small, not conspicuously shaped island this is. Hi, guy who is permanently waving at all times. Hi, my name is Bait. Today I met a guy sailing all the way from Sea Island to find a boy like you. I bet he's still rowing his raft on the East Ocean. I'm a fisherman. Welcome to Tuna Cola. Looks like you're uh, successful. Have you ever heard of the raw fish eaters island, Sushi Cola? Wow, creative names. Hello, guy wearing a thong and permanently waving. I'll become a good fisherman like my daddy. My daddy is a fisherman. Wow. <laughs> I'm a fisherman. I've missed a big, big one. As big as a whale. Well. They said east. Let's head east. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Why not peculiarly shaped uh, island that couldn't possibly be foreshadowing anything? Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Oh, uh, this game's horrifying. <laughs> now I'm inside a whale! Oh, look, it's a raft. Hey, dude. Wow, Mike, it's me, Babu, Dr. J's assistant. Do you remember me? At last I found you. I found you, buddy. But did we have to meet in the belly of this whale? Mike, I must tell you, I witnessed the kidnap of your uncle. A huge flying ship appeared in the sky. I did not tell you because I was afraid it would return for me. But the Southern Cross gave me the courage and strength to find you. I'm sorry I was scared, but now I must help. Let's find a way out of this fish with bad taste. Well, let me see. That's it, Mike. We'll make him sneeze. Let's build a fire. Dr. J gave me a lighter. It was in my pocket. Pocket? Shoot! I lost it when I was swallowed. It must be around here. Let's find it. And you are going to help me find it by standing there and marching in place for all eternity. Bam, bam, bam. So, uh, this chapter is unique in that, uh, there isn't any top-down segments. Well, this is technically a top-down, but you know what I mean. There's no parts where you're going around fighting monsters with a yo-yo. Um, it's all on foot. It's technically, it's all on foot anyway. You, you know what I mean? Shut up! Bam, bam, bam. This is the most, uh, not only is this a gigantic whale, like, holy crap, it swallowed a submarine whole, but I am walking around inside of it. Like, well, it's pretty big. I don't think I could walk around inside of one for five minutes <laughs> before I get from one side to the other. Oh, I think I made a boo-boo. Yep. Alright. Ah. Well. Don't go down there. Maybe go down there. I don't know. Ah. My memory has helped me a lot in this playthrough, but uh, not so much in this one. And uh, it's not going to help me pretty much at all once I'm done this chapter, because uh, I only ever got past this chapter once in my entire life. Hmm. 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 
Do I go down on that one? Ah. Do I do I go down on that one? I don't know. I don't know. This feels right. Yeah! You've got the lighter! <laughs> Sex delicious! What is this way? It's a T. Aha! Mike! Let's build a fire! You built a fire! It's getting smokier! It's getting smokier! Mike, help! I've got smoke in my eyes! It's getting smokier! Uh, 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 I don't think a whale would uh, do that. Would a whale even sneeze? Real? Those don't have noses. Well. Phew! We made it! I promise never to smoke again! But being a smoker saved your life. Ironically. Okay, Mike. I have to tell you Dr. J's last words. Evil aliens from a distant planet. Tell Mike to dip my letter in water. Do you understand? No. Dr. J sent you a letter with a map of Sea Island a few weeks ago. Okay, Mike. I'm just gonna repeat myself. Forever. Yeah, I understand. Dr. J has been abducted by aliens in the flying ship. Mike, leave me here. I'll be okay. With this one tree and no food. Please help my, uh, 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 help that guy. Navcom here, Captain. Input frequency. So, uh, if you've ever heard anything about this game, it's probably this. Um, this game, when it came in its box, with, uh, its manual and stuff, it came with the, the manual and, you know, the, the precautions and policies and all that stuff, and a map of Sea Island, and a letter from your uncle, Dr. J, in real life. And you had actually at this point you had to actually take that physical leather letter and dunk it in water and it revealed a hidden message that tells you this frequency and that is some of the coolest shit i've ever seen in a video game that's some fourth wall breaking nonsense however me being a small child i didn't keep the box i didn't keep the manual i threw it all away so when i got to this point in the game i didn't have any way past it. Um, also, way back then, the internet wasn't a, really a thing. Like, dial-up kind of existed, but uh, it wasn't a common household thing, so uh, I had no means to find out what this was. And I remember, specifically, one time when I was a little bit older, um, I, I took a day where I was like, I'm going to try every single number until I find out what the code is. And I did. I sat down and I was like, 001. 002, 003, 004, all the way up to 999, and none of them worked. So, I must have accidentally skipped the proper one. I don't know how that was possible, because I was very methodical about it, and I kept a written record of, uh, because I didn't do it in one sitting, like, uh, I, I took a break every hour or so, but I kept a record of what numbers I've tried and stuff, so... 747. It's burned in my memory now. Aye aye, Captain. Frequency tracking system set for Dr. J's location. If I pick up a signal, I'll alert you. Subsea is ready to launch. All ahead, full. So yeah, when I was an adult, and I played this game a couple of years ago, uh, I just used Google, and I found out. Number 5, Captain Bell. Subsea is searching for Dr. Jones' location, but the strait is blocked. Straits blocked! Ugh. Flashback to a Resident Evil 2 playthrough. Doors locked! My favorite part. Ooh. Top secrets? So from this point on, 
I practically have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Whereas the first four chapters are burned into my memory because I played through them so many times, like hundreds of times. And uh, uh, I, I got a sneaking suspicion this is the way forward. But uh... Yeah, this stuff, not so much. So this, this doesn't look familiar to me at all. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. So if you were uh, tired of me knowing what I'm doing, uh, you, you're about to be happy. Because I no longer have any idea what I'm doing. As is probably evident. Um, what, um... Oh. Oh. I maintain Captain Bell's memorial. Boy, don't touch anything. By the way, Peter's great-grandpa was Captain Bell's pet parrot. What? Peter's great-grandpa was Captain Bell's pet parrot. Did you know? Peter's great-grandpa was Captain Bell's pet parrot. Um... Um, again, I don't think you can sequence break in this game. I think you have to get the code for that in order to, uh, be able to proceed. Like, if you put in the right code, it just, it still wouldn't work, so. I just can't go. So this is kind of exciting for me. Uh, hi, my name is Hook. I'm the fishing master. Do you want to know the ABCs of fishing? No. Is your name Nestor? Ha! <laughs> That's a Nintendo Power reference. Same thing I just said, except yes. Okay, wake up early and find a fresh worm for bait. The island saying is, the early bird catches the worm and fish too. Here is a fresh worm for you. Thanks, Hook. Uh, watch out for Peter Pan's. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, this is, this is exciting for me because it's a complete shift in gears. Um, huh? Now come here, Captain. Now searching for Dr. J's location. If I pick up a signal, I'll alert you. Because he is ready to launch. I'll head full. Yeah, total shift in gears because, like, the first part of the game is practically memorized. Uh, you know, really specific things, not so much, but, like, I remember the octopus boss, and you gotta use a snowman on him, and you, you use a bat, and you kill him faster, and, you know, um, but now this is a, just clean slate. No freaking clue. Not a clue, I tell you. This is a ship. This is over here. I mean, the obvious way to go is in the village, but I don't... I wouldn't be much of an explorer if I just went straight for the first thing. This game has damn invisible walls. Make me check every single wall. Welcome to Belcola. I want to be a hero, like Captain Bell. Like Bell Alliant. Don't you know the story of our island father, the British Captain Bell? Not my papa, dumb. D d <laughs> He's our island father. I'm just not gonna correct the mistake I just made. Welcome to Belcola. Yeah. I am the second oldest in all the islands. 128 years. Oh, Jesus. It's impossible to cross the strait now. What are you saying, banjo guy? Hi, I'm a great songwriter. I'm also super modest. Like, way more modest than anyone else I know. Do you like my song? Be so my bell, be so. Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna take a screenshot of that. My phone's gonna be riddled with uh, Star Tropic screenshots. Be so my be so, be so my See, that's why I took a screenshot. I get up early to fish. The early bird catches some worm, you know. 
And fish, too. <laughs> That's not a saying just in the islands. You fools. Oh, you're from Sea Island. Our chief is waiting for you. I'm sure he is. Oh! Mike! I'm Chief Belcola. I got a letter from Sea Island by Carrier Pigeon. Chief Coral Cola asked me to give you the secret of the strait. But I'm not sure. Do you promise to keep it a secret? No. No? No secret, no chat. Apparently that's a reference to something, I don't know what. <clears throat> Mike. <laughs> Can you keep it a secret? Yeah. Okay, I believe you even though you said no last time. Listen carefully. In 1680, the British Captain Bell battled with pirates invading our islands. He blocked the strait by sacrificing his own ship, saving our islands. Since then, Captain Bell has been known as the Island Father. But he left a secret in his cave. He has a cave? To open the strait. Mike, it's not easy to enter Bell's cave. You need the help of Peter. Good luck. And that's why the other person said Peter is the parrot. So I gotta find this parrot. I have a... Uh... Hello, Peter I am, Peter I am. Huh? No gifts, no chat, no gifts, no chat. You give him the worm. Yes, give. Uh, uh. Yes, give. Uh, uh. Good morning, Captain Bell. Good morning, Captain Bell. Hi, Peter. Hi, uh. Do me so far. Do me. Uh, don't don't take that out of context. Another screenshot. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hi, Peter. Hi. Uh, do me so far. Do me. Okay. So those are like Dorimi, Faso, Latido, Garbage. Yeah, 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 okay, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, yeah, okay, so, this is the straight, that, that's, I guess, Captain Bell's ship, still, uh, I mean, if he's not around anymore, we just, I don't know, move it, but I don't know, maybe politics or something, ooh, why am I getting a flashing light? Clocks go ahead tonight. Well, that's one last hour I get to record. Fun! Uh, 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 was it this one? It was not. I mean, I, I guess this is a puzzle. <laughs> I mean, I had to go over to the fisherman guy to get a worm in order to get the parrot to tell me the code to the piano in order to get into the cave. Uh, a lot of arson around. Huh? I thought I went... Th oh, this up more. <laughs> okay. So... Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. Okay. Um... Okay, uh... Come on, phone. You can do it. I'm just asking you to do very basic stuff. Open picture. Miso my bell, miso. And do me so far, do me. So, do re mi. Fa so. Do re mi. Fa so la ti. Mi? Oh, a bell bee. Do re mi fa so la ti. Do. Do 
ma do re mi uh, so okay so his uh song is useless it seems uh do oh it shows up with a word now re mi fa so Bar. Do. Me. Mm. Do. Re. Me. Do. Re. Me. Ah. Uh. Do. Ah. Uh. Me. <laughs> oh, maybe I have to uh, do it all in one go. Like, maybe I screwed it up the first time I did this. So, let's reset and uh, try again. Do. Re, mi. Do, mi. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Do, mi, so. Do, re, mi, fa. Do me. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, I did it. I solved the puzzle. I'm a puzzle solver guy. It's a good puzzle solver guy. It's so good. I'm a good video games. Oh god, there's two ways. No! Okay. What is down this way? Heart? No! I want the heart! Where is the heart? Ah! Aha! That was just a hunch, but I was correct. Being correct makes me erect. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Alright. So. This is gonna be a brand new all new, never before seen until now, in the future time after now. The cave that I've never been to. Except one time where I'm pretty sure I was drunk. Um. So, t t tune in next time.